Welcome to another edition of the podcast with this guy, Art DeLugage, legendary voice of the Lando Yellow Jackets. You laugh every time I say that. Well, legendary is a little strong, but uh, uh, saying the voice is fine. I'm proud of that. Well, I think you're a legend. So well, thank you. At any rate, thanks for making the time, Art. I certainly appreciate it, especially during spring break, because I know that while everybody else is off doing their own thing, these athletes really don't get any time off, do they? Well, the the track team did. Uh, uh, Coach uh, uh, Ryan Bream gave them the week off, and I was sort of kidded, I kidded him. He sent uh, emails to the parents, and I get uh, to read that. And he said, you can do anything you want to during the spring break. And I, I emailed him. I said, well, well, you're not being much of a, a tough guy coach uh, like you're supposed to be. And, of course, I was kidding him. And they've had a, a, a very fine season so far. Yeah, I, I saw the tweet from Preem regarding the giant barbecue pit from Coach Ricky Sparks for the, the latest Yellow Jacket yes. Orlando meet right before everybody broke for spring break. It sounds like you went to that. What can you tell us? Well, it was a huge meet. I thought it would be just three or four teams, but the meet included Brownwood and uh, uh, also uh, Mason and Blanco that, that have uh, good teams and one or two other 4A schools, and they were the only ones to beat Lano as a team uh, uh, in the uh, team standings. So that was good. And on the girls' side... Gwen Burnett, the sophomore, uh, fourth in the hurdles in state uh, last spring, uh, had an outstanding meet, winning, uh, I believe, four gold medals. Oh, wow. So it was a, a, a great day, very sunny and uh, uh, for, the, for the kids, and uh, just a good one, I think, uh, overall. Burnett and Marble Falls both went to Salado right around the time Lana was hosting their meet. Grant Jones did his usual five events. I think he medaled in at least four of them. A tremendous athlete, just a sophomore. Um, I asked Coach Shipley, Crystal Shipley, the Lady Dogs coach, to give me two or three top performers, and she couldn't do it because she thought everybody performed so well. Of course, I have all of that, or will have it, on TexasChalkTalk.com. That's the website where you'll, you can find my stories there. Uh, and I update that every day. So let me interrupt and tell everybody why I'm wearing the uh, colors of the Badgers in Wisconsin, Madison, Wisconsin. My grandson is a freshman there. Okay. And he's got a perfect record after football and basketball season, and the Badgers are in the NCAA tournament, and Jack has a perfect record. He has not seen a game. He has just, you know, his dad's a big sports fan. And, of course, you know I am, but he just never liked sports. And that's okay. Yes, because, that's fine. <laughs> because Jack did win a championship years ago, a big one. Yes. Do you remember? Do you uh, want to tell of course, him? I was at age 15, he won uh, an episode on Chop Jr. on the uh, Food Network, and that was an exciting time. We all got to go to New York, only a couple of uh, uh uh, members of the family, their trip was paid for, but uh, he did, uh, uh, he was selected to go, then he beat three other uh, of the participants, and we were very proud of him. He is an outstanding cook, and now does it uh, certainly just for fun. A lot of people thought that he was going to be a cook, or they'll they'll say, oh, he's at Wisconsin because he's going to be a chef or something. I said, no, he's not. Well, I will say this. The only <laughs> regret I have is that I could not convince Jack to cook for me before he graduated from high school. So, Well, I'll assure you that before he graduates from college, we'll make that happen. Okay, awesome. I'm holding you to that. The, let, let's go to the other sports, though, that we know are playing uh, during spring break, and that's the baseball and softball teams. I know Marble Falls and Burnett are both playing. What's happening with the Jackets? Well, the softball team, as expected, has had a great almost half the season with a 10-3 and record. And Madison Klepper, the outstanding right-handed pitcher, uh, not only is pitching well, she's 12 for 26 uh, at the plate with 15 RBIs. But really what is outstanding is uh, more than that, in 17 innings of pitching, she has struck out 38 batters. 
So she is going to be so tough to stop. You know in softball that the pitcher is very dominant, and she is uh, a, a, as good as her stats and already has committed to a college, uh, and she's just a, a, a junior in uh, high school. Skylar Brown is another good pitcher. She has 53 Ks in 30 innings. And at the plate, other girls doing well, including Skylar. She's 14 for 29. Uh, Madison Flepper, that I mentioned, 12 for 26. And Paige Bauer, 9 for 19, who had just a great basketball uh, campaign for the Jackets. Gwen Burnett, who I mentioned, who uh, did so well at track, is hitting 400 with 13 runs batted in. And Callie Brown, the senior catcher, 10 for 16. So it, it certainly, uh, uh, things are looking well. And Atlanta will open district play on Tuesday, March 22nd, at home against a chief rival in Lago Vista. The other top team in the district should be Blanco. The baseball team is 6-5 and five so far. Maddox Green, the son of athletic director and head football coach, Matt Green has struck out 30 batters in 20 innings on the hill. He is a lefty, and so is Chris Whitson. So uh, unusual to have two lefties uh, in your uh, rotation. Uh, other youngsters who are hitting well include Jackson Ray, the fine football player, and he had also a pitcher with 13 strikeouts in just 10 innings pitched. And Jackson uh, also is hitting, as I mentioned, he was doing well, 310 at the plate. Head coach Todd Doucette. And for the girls, softball head coach is Bo Burnett Gwen's dad. Okay. Marble Falls open districts play. I, I softball wise, they just they got run ruled. Right now, they're in a rebuild mode. As I said, the last time we did this, they don't have a varsity. So they ju I'm sorry, they don't have a junior varsity. So right now, I think they have a lot of underclassmen playing on the varsity level, District 25-5A, and that's a recipe for a very difficult season indeed. The baseball team, though, played on Wednesday night, took Cedar Park to nine in the innings, ended up losing by a run on a pass ball. Mm -hmm. um, Hudson McBride, the team's ace, really did an outstanding job. He pitched seven innings. They pulled him after there were two runners on base, both freebies, I think a walk and a hit by pitch. Bryce Atkinson um, had the bases loaded, and they were able just to get out of that eighth inning without giving up a run. And then Marble Falls had two runners on with one out, could not get the timing hit, and they end up losing uh, on a pass ball in the top, top of the ninth inning. Never could get another runner on base. Maybe maybe one in the ninth inning. Maybe, maybe not. So then you have that issue. Uh, for Burnett, though, and I was just looking at this, the Lady Dogs right now in Burnett, they're 16-3 and overall. They had a 12-4 win over Gerald on Tuesday. They had 20 hits wow. against Gerald. Savannah Gomez... Great senior on that team, went 5-for-5 five five from the plate. Two singles, two doubles, I, had, I think had two RBIs. But their outstanding sophomore is Cameron Guthrie. Remember that name. She has already been looked at by numerous Division I schools. I think she's going to be the next great um, lady dog to play softball coming out of that program following the great Mackenzie Carpenter. Mackenzie was a pitcher. Cameron is a do-it-all player. Don't think she pitches, though. She had a two-run homer during that contest. They are done until Tuesday, though, where they come back on March 22nd. They are playing Georgetown Gateway at 7 o'clock at home. The Burnett baseball team is interesting to me, and here's why. Last weekend, both Marble Falls and Burnett were at the Blanco, a Blanco tournament. They ended up not playing that Friday night because of weather. You know, that was when the cold front came in. So they ended up playing two games each on Saturday, not against each other, but against other teams. When I talked to Coach Houston on Monday, Russell Houston, the head coach at Burnett in the baseball, 
he made it sound like, well, we've got just a couple more minutes. Let me finish my thought here, and then we'll move on to the next segment. Russell made it sound like that team was at a crossroads, that they were still trying to figure some things out. Well, they come back at home and open district play against Georgetown Gateway. They're up 1-0, to zero, going into the top of the seventh inning, have one pitcher, Clayton Zink. They get, get, Gateway gets two runners on base. Zink gets two outs. And then they can't get the other out. And all of a sudden, now they're down. Instead of being up 1-0, they're down 4-1. to one. Houston makes a change at pitcher. Well, they end up getting out of it. They're down four to one with three outs to try to to scratch out three runs. They end up coming back and winning this thing five to four. That's the best kind of win. Oh, oh yeah, and but they were at this crossroads where I could feel, and maybe it was just me, that early in the season they needed to figure some things out. Maybe they did because I wasn't sure who they were going to throw. When I talked to Houston and asked who you're putting on the mound, he couldn't tell me. Well, Barnett now, they're going back to district play on Friday night, the 18th. They are playing at home. Uh, they're playing Salado at home, and, and Salado has been super solid in just about every sport in that district throughout the season. I expect that Salado will be solid again on Friday night. So all the best to them. Uh, Marble Falls is at Georgetown on Thursday night at 7 o'clock. Of course, we'll have the write-up on all of that at TexasChalkTalk.com. That's it for this segment. Stay with us. We're going to close this one out, and we're going to come right back. Stay with us.